Hey guys, thanks for coming back and checking out the installation video. Uh, we're going to break it up in, or videos I should say. We're going to break it up into a few installation, um, into a few short videos to make it easier. So this first video that we're going to do right here is how to actually wire up the recurve. Um, I'm going to jump in kind of quick and get it done, but um, what I want to cover first are some of the tools you're probably going to want to have uh, before you get started. Alright, so left to right. First, you're going to want to have a decent set of wire strippers. These aren't great, but they'll do the job. A small screwdriver with a small, a small flathead screwdriver. You're going to need a set of a decent pair of dikes. And then you're going to want to get a digital multimeter. This particular one can be had for about 20 bucks on Amazon. And if you get this exact same model or something really similar, we'll actually show you how to use the unit as well. Um, as far as items, you're going to want to have your your um, RCA cables that are running to your amp. Whether you're, you know, if, if you're doing one amp, two amps, whatever, we'll cover that uh, again in a subsequent part in subsequent videos. But you're going to want to have your RCA cables. And don't forget to check out our install kits for your particular Toyota. Our kits include way more than just the standard um, amp kit. Okay, then you want to make sure and have your recurve wiring harness. And then you want to have your subwoofer control module as well. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to adjust here, make a couple little adjustments, and then I'm going to show you guys how to get the recurve wired into the stock head unit here. Alright, so I'm going to pause and I'll jump right back in. Okay, made a couple of adjustments. Alright, first thing we're going to do is, let me show you something here. Right here, these connectors, um, here let me start over here. Regardless of your configuration, whether you're going to start off with just a subwoofer, if you're just going to start off with door speakers and add an amplifier for say your door speakers and not adding a sub or vice versa, no matter what, you need to connect all the wires to the recurve. Um, on this, this side of the recurve are your power inputs and outputs. This side is the speaker level input coming from your stock head unit and that's where the recurve wiring system comes into play. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to show you how to hook the or how to connect these wires into the recurve. At this point you would have already run this wiring right here through your vehicle to the mounting location for your recurve. So here I'm going to start off with the gray wire and I'll explain that in a second why. But um, I'm actually going to, oh, let me see here. If you take here these plugs, or let me get that out of here, they slide out and I'll actually zoom in on zoom in on this in a second. And then here, if you look at your manual, you see we've got everything color coded. So we've made it super easy to get this all hooked up. So if you um, just reading here, you know that the right front gray is this one. So this is my first wire. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually connect the uh, wire to this connector. And then all you basically do is follow the color scheme on both sides, and that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and do one. And then I'll readjust again, and then we'll um, we'll keep on going. All right, so wire strippers, and then I want to take my connector, open up the open up the connector. All right, and then I'm going to take my gray wire and strip some of the wire away. All right, guys, I readjusted a little bit, make this a little bit easier for you guys to see. I know a lot of you guys look at this on your phone. All right, so what I did is I purposely stripped away way too much of the uh, jacket, and there's a lot of wire exposed. So if I took this wire and I inserted it here, I'm going to have a lot of bare wire exposed. And the problem with that is if, if I have too much wire exposed and it reaches over and it touches another wire, let me see if I can see that, you're going to end up with weird noise or weird problems with your system. So the idea is you want to cut just enough where this wire reaches the back of the connector, but the but you see none of this bare wire. So I'm going to cut away some of this wire here using my digs. Okay, then I'm going to readjust. Okay, so then here, I'm going to slide that in there, and it's still a little bit too long. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video. I want this to sit right behind, I want the, I want this, 
part of the jacket to sit right inside the connector. So I'm going to cut a little bit more. Let me see if I can see that in the video. Okay, so I'm going to take this. And it looks like I have just enough. Now I'm going to tighten this up. Okay. Now, hopefully you can see this. You see I've got no bare wire showing whatsoever. So that, that's a good connection right there. I know that the connector inside is making contact with the wire itself. This is not going to make contact with another wire. So this is a good example of how you want your connections to be. Now I'm not going to bore you with connecting each one of these. Basically all you're going to do at this point is follow the color code. You're going to have the next one will be gray, black, white, white, black. So basically you're just color matching at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and um, pause here, readjust again. I'll get all the wires, wire, I'll get everything wired up and then we'll come right back. Alright guys, everything's connected. Um, I've got my speaker level inputs coming from the, re, uh, from the recurve wiring system. Uh, all connected. I made sure that none of the wires are touching or there's nothing, uh, there's no way that these are going to make contact with each other. On this side I've got my ground, yellow, and red all in the, make sure they're in the, in the correct spot. We'll talk about the this last wire when we're um, hooking up the amplifier. So at this point the recurve's wired in and the reason I like to wire this side in first is because that way I know that these that these loose wires won't make connection with, any, with anything when I when I actually um, apply the power to this. So the next thing that I'm going to do is um, go ahead and connect it to the back side of the of the um, stock head unit. Now a little tip a little tip for you guys. I recommend never cut your recurve wiring because a lot of times you guys will make adjustments or changes to your system a year, two years, sometimes down the road. And if you cut this wire, you're, you're going to kind of limit yourself. And this wire is, getting color-coded wire is not cheap. If you head over to the auto parts store, you'll figure that out pretty quick. So I recommend hiding it. Don't cut this wiring. Okay, so now that I know all my connections, I've triple checked, everything's connected. I have, you know, no loose wires or, you know, nothing exposed. Now I'm going to actually hook up the head unit. So I'm going to flip this around, and then I'm going to show you how to get this plugged in. So I'm going to pause here again, make a couple little changes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here you're looking at the back of a stock Toyota head unit. Now, I know when you order your system, obviously make sure you select the right year and model. Don't assume these are, these are all the same. Uh, they, do vary, they do tend to vary. Um, so anyway, just be sure to order the correct year. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we've got the recurve wiring system that is running to the recurve. We've got no power here. I highly recommend, and you need, you really should do this, is kill the battery to your truck, car, whatever, uh, your SUV before you actually get started on this part. Um, you should never be working on anything electrical while you, uh, while the battery's connected. Okay, so in this particular case, um, this is a mobile music system that we use for demonstrating the products. So um, I've already got, bat I'm not going to disconnect the battery here, I don't have any airbags, I don't have anything to worry about. But in your vehicle you've got a lot of things to, to, uh, to be concerned with. So kill the power before you start. Okay, so first I'm going to disconnect this 6 pin and these 10 pin. And then you're basically going to take the stock wiring, plug, in, plug the male 10 pin into the female on the, on the recurve wiring system and you'll feel it click. You may not hear it click. Next do the six pin. That one did click. And then you simply take the other side and plug this back in over here. Alright. You'll notice the head unit turns on. Yours, will pro yours should be dead at this point because you're, you don't have your battery should be disconnected. Once you know everything is connected properly then go ahead and reconnect your battery. Okay. So at this point the recurve's fire. Oops, the recurve's fired up. I've got all my wires connected. Now at this point, I'm ready to start configuring the recurve and connecting it to my amplifier. So that's the wiring process in a nutshell. We're done. Now, uh, one there's one more little problem or tip that we've come across, and I'll show you this. I'm gonna zoom in again. 
Okay, I want to zoom in on this and show you guys something. On some of the older Tacomas, Tundras, and even some of the Camrys, um, there's a couple other cars as well. I hope you can see this in the video. I'm trying to zoom in. Notice this channel here is wide open. We have the channel open all the way to the front. We have this channel on the other side here, but we have it blocked. On some of the older Tacomas and Tundras, and like I said, e there's even a few of the other Toyotas, um, you have to take a razor and just cut that little tiny piece of plastic. It it's not, doesn't require much effort. Just cut it and you're basically going to create two channels. Let me see if I can see that. One, two, and that'll accommodate um, pro most of the cars. And we've only seen that on older Tacomas. I'm sorry, older Toyotas. I keep saying Tacoma, but older uh, Toyotas, and that usually fixes it. And again, um, make sure that if you guys order the wiring system, you need to be sure you specify the correct year. Don't assume they're all the same uh, because some of the pinouts are different. The plugs are usually pretty similar. Uh, they do vary a little bit sometimes by year. So anyhow, that's all there is to it. You basically plug that in. You know, at this point, the recurve is is uh, tapped into the head unit. The head unit's providing signal to the recurve, and we're ready to move to the next uh, to the next phase. So I'm gonna. Go ahead and end here, and then we'll go to the next uh, section on how to actually configure the recurve.